What's up YouTube? Pastor Bob here. I wanted to show you the guitar. The Firefly. It's all done except for uh, the selector switch knob which I ordered a nice one. There it is. Wilkerson tailpiece and bridge. I did a, a bicolor so you'll see that it's chrome and black. Why? Because I wanted to match the same uh, color spectrum as I have for uh, the Seymour Duncans. Okay, those are mayhems. Seymour Duncan mayhems. They are nasty. I'd play it, but I don't want to hear a bunch of crying from the people upstairs right now. But it came out really nice. It really did. Got some mother of toilet seat inlay right there. Really nice. They did a nice job. And as you see, um, these tuners are great. Absolutely. These are nice tuners. Absolutely. Just a really, really nice guitar. It's nice. So I checked it all out, took it all apart. And then, uh, as you can see, if you look at the frets. They all rounded the frets. Leveled them all out. This thing is sweet. I'll show you. So it's nice. It's set up. I put a set of Diodario 9s on it. Yep. Came out really, really nice. They built a really good platform. I didn't like the pickups. That's just a personal preference. I think their pickups, well, I thought they sounded like shit. <laughs> That's right. Pastor Bob said it smelled like the toilet. <laughs> it smelled like the toilet through my ears. <laughs> but as far as the platform is concerned, nice now. Yep. I put some Korean pots in there because they make good potentiometers in Korea. Uh, I like Burns. I like CTS, but I was trying to go with the least amount of money. So um, I got probably right around 300, 325 in, into it. The most was, of course, the, you know, the pickups, but. Not too bad. So, right around 300 I'd say. But I already had this stuff. I mean, I don't know what it cost you today with shipping and everything. But I'd say probably around $300. And it sounds really good. It really does. I'll do another video sometime and I'll, I'll play it for you. But yeah. Absolutely sounds great, guys. It's a really, really nice guitar. Great platform to build on. Look, got a nice long tenon in it. It has a real cap. It's a real cap on there. I checked it out. So, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. I mean, a lot, you know, the, the basics of it they do in a CNC machine, but it does have a lot of handwork involved in it. Um, you can say I got lucky uh, and got a really good platform. And look, there's a lot of people out there that have bad platforms i don't care if it's made in the united states canada korea japan indonesia it doesn't matter you know there's great ones and there's not so great ones and a lot of that doesn't have to do with them maybe it was great leaving the factory but you know with getting cold and hot and cold and hot it could have done a lot of things and there wasn't a lot of stabilization before it left the plant that has a lot to do with it too you know how you stabilize the woods. You know, there's some really good... Uh, there's people out there like Gibson, um, Carvin, you know. Um, Kiesel guitars are really good about stabilizing everything before it leaves, right? Gibson's like that. Paul Reed Smith's like that. I think the biggest part with, you know, any guitar platform is making sure that it's stabilized, Right? The wood stabilized and it ain't going to move no more. That's the biggest part 
of building a guitar. And when people learn that part, and you don't skip over that part, they'll find that people will buy more of the guitars because there is less movement and shifting in the fretboard, you know, in the neck or the body. Once you get that part under control and you know exactly what it takes and you understand the species of the woods that you're working with, you'll have less problems. It's like my guitar. I built this guitar for myself. Is it anything special with anything kind of special parts or anything? No, but the woods are. You know, the woods are. I built this for myself. If you look, these are way down in there. Right? You see that? They are way down in there. And the reason why I put them down in there is because where the strings come across the nut, right? This is a flat. Even though there's a, a dip, it's flat, right? And you should always have a neck pitch. So that's why I did this um, three-way string tree. And then I sunk them down in there to give it that effect of a pitched neck. That's why I did it that way. And then if you look at the back, which it's not finished yet. Uh, those, uh, I can't remember if those are Burns or CTS. But I got orange drop caps in there. And uh, I really never finished it off. But if you look, this tree, if you look at the, the woods, this tree came from out back. Yeah, nice spalted uh, maple. Has some ambrosia to it too. But if you look at that neck, that's a beautiful piece of bird's eye maple that I got years ago. Blue Dan tuners. Yeah, it's a nice guitar. It's got Pram Man in there. I put Pram Man in there. But I built everything on that. Except for the hardware. All the wood part of it, I built it from nothing. From blocks of wood. But, you know, it took me a, a while. And it's my guitar. It wasn't built for production or anybody but me. You know, there's special curves and angles that I put into my guitar. But I built it for me, you know. Of course, I have experience of, you know, 30 years plus doing it. But, you know, you guys can do it too. You really can. With minimal amounts of tools. Pretty soon I'm going to be doing a, a hot rod of one of... Uh, squires because somebody asked me to do it if i would do one i said well there's plenty of videos on and uh they were like well we just want to see how you do it i said okay so i have a platform and i got some uh true custom pickups i'm going to show you what they are i'm going to put them all in i'm going to switch everything over i'm putting all fender and true custom all usa parts into it and then we're going to fire it up and see what it sounds like it'll probably be a live demonstration when i do it but here you go, guys. Here's the Firefly. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you liked it. You know, I'm just not some regular guy just pulling them off. Some guy trying to, you know, put myself out there as the greatest guy in the world. But as you can see, guys, I have a lot of guitars. And I have a lot of experience with them. I have over 118 guitars, guys. 118 guitars. Does that make me the greatest guy in the world? No, it just means I, <laughs> I have a problem. I love them. I build them. I love them. I fix them. I beat on them. Sometimes I saw them in half, you know. And I'm not partial to one company. You know, I have Harley Benton's, Guild's, Paul Reed Smith's, Gibson's, LTD's. You name it. I got it, right? And I learn a lot. You know, got TTM Custom Shop guitar over there. Boy, there's, there's a guy that really wants that guitar, but he'll never get it. I mean, I have Ivy's. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that Ivy. That Ivy is absolutely... I mean, that's out of this world. It's out of this world. My buddy Buckethead back there. I like Buckethead. So, yeah. I say if you want a Firefly, go for it. It's a little bit of money, you know, that can bring you some happiness. And if you have problems, hey, shoot me a message. I'll walk you through it.
you know, if I can help you. But you guys can do this. With simple little tools, you can mod them and make them sound great. You know what I mean? And then someday, maybe you'll build something like I did. You know? I built that one for me. Not for resale. That's my guitar, so I don't even think about it. <laughs> kind of goes with the box, huh? Yeah. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. Uh, and uh, if you buy a Firefly, let me know. You know, if you need some help, we can walk you through something. If you not understand something, let's see if we can help you. All right? All right, guys, take care. Like, share, subscribe. This is Pastor Bob. I'm out of here. See ya.